Hey everybody, it's Mac from Rev Robotics. We're here today to show you how to get started using the Ultraplanetary Gearbox with a NEO 550 motor. So for this process, you're gonna need a couple of items before you get started. You're gonna need a Ultraplanetary mounting plate, a couple of the Ultraplanetary cartridges. In this case, we're gonna be using a five and a four to one cartridge. And you're also gonna need the Ultraplanetary output. You also need a little bit of hardware, so we're using the Ultraplanetary hardware pack, and you're going to need your NEO 550 motor with an Ultraplanetary pinion already pressed on. If you need more information on how to go about the process of pressing a pinion onto your NEO 550 motor, check out our video on pressing a pinion onto a NEO 550 motor. There should be a link down below in the description. So with that, let's get started and we can start assembling our Ultraplanetary gearbox. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is start with our motor and the mounting plate. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of mount that nice and flush up there and take an eight millimeter long uh, M3 button head and our two millimeter hex key. We can then go ahead and get these started in here into our mounting holes. one in here. All right. All right, so once our mounting plate is on, we're able to start going about the process of putting on our individual cartridges. So what we wanna do is first start with our five to one cartridge, our highest uh, gear reduction, and have that as close to the motor as we can. So to do that, we're gonna kinda of take these at a little bit of an angle here to kinda of feed this on, and you just kinda of slide that on there right there. You can then go ahead and do the same thing with your next cartridge in the reduction, and it kinda of goes on like that. And then you're gonna follow that up with the output. One thing that's particularly handy when doing this is having it where you kind of keep your hand around the Neo 550 because the this back bell will also help to spin the output shaft, which then will spin uh, the rest of the cartridges down the line. So if you kind of hold this in place, um, it makes it a little bit easier for you to be able to stack uh, your ultraplanetary cartridges as you're going up from there. Uh, once those cartridges are on, you're going to go ahead and take the hardware the remaining hardware and kind of put these on here. So these are also M3 screws. Um, they are 30 millimeters in length. It's 10 millimeters for every, for every stage and also the output itself. So if you're ever needing to know how long of a screw that you need to be able to kind of put the gearbox together, uh, it's pretty easy to remember. So then we want to go ahead and just make these all nice and kind of nice and snug. One thing that you can do is you could take a little bit of uh, Loctite uh, and Loctite these in if you're worried about it kind of backing out. Uh, but for the most part, you just need to kind of get these things where they're kind of nice and snug and you'll be good to go. All right, and then once that's all together, we're ready to use uh, this Neo 550 motor. One thing though that you wanna keep in consideration while you are constructing your ultraplanetary gearbox and building your mechanisms is gonna be the load ratings for the ultraplanetary gearbox itself. Most two cartridge gearboxes, you're gonna be perfectly fine and you're gonna be able to use them within most uh, applications with a Neo 550. You definitely should consult the user's manual though as you start building three cartridge gearboxes. So for our, our load ratings for this 20 to one, looks like we are going to be a-okay and good to go. And now we can start thinking about some options of being able to drive uh, different mechanisms that are commonly used within FRC. So the output on our ultraplanetary itself has our uh, motion pattern as well as a five millimeter female hex. This is used quite frequently within our FTC um, products, which then means that you're able to utilize things like our number 25 plate sprockets 
that have the motion pattern, or you're able to use our GT2 belts uh, or GT2 pulleys that work with GT2 belts um, to be able to face mount directly onto the ultraplanetary. Another real handy use is if you are looking at getting into half inch hex, we also have a half inch hex adapter which will basically get attached straight up to the front output of your ultraplanetary gearbox. And with that, there's a couple of different ways for you to be able to utilize the ultraplanetary with a NEO 550 uh, for your FRC robot. If you have any questions about this or any of our products, feel free to reach out to us, support at revrobotics.com. Otherwise, we're looking forward to seeing you at the competition.